and welcome back. In our lecture number six of Kinesiology, we are going to study the basic mechanical principles. And today's lecture, we will study about force. So, what is the force? If a car is standing, what causes it to move? Or if it's moving with uniform motion in a straight line, what causes the disruption? That's the force. So basically force is that which changes the state of rest or the uniform motion of a body in a straight line. So what are the characteristics of a force? If a force is represented by a line or an arrow, then the direction of the arrow is the direction of the force and the length of the arrow is its magnitude. And the third characteristic is the point of application where the force is acting. Now the direction of movement. Direction of movement depends upon the number of forces. If a single force is acting on a body, then the body will move in the direction of the force. But if two forces are acting, then we will see the characteristics. The two forces acting on a common point in a same direction, then their magnitude will be added and they act as a single force acting in the same direction. But if equal forces acting on a common point but in opposite direction, then there will be no movement. Both the forces cancel out the effect of each other. And if two unequal forces acting on a common point but in opposite direction, then the object will move in the direction of the force that has greater magnitude. If the two forces acting at an angle to each other on a same point, then in that case, this may be compounded to produce the desired effect. For example, in the case of arm abduction, the anterior fibers and the posterior fibers of the deltoid are producing a force in an angle to the bone. So under the action of these muscles, the bone moves in abduction position and if two unequal forces acting on different points in opposite direction then they will cause a rotational movement that is also known as torque for example in our human body the serratus anterior produces an anterior force on the scapula while the upper and the lower trapezius fiber causes the backward force on the scapula. Under these forces, the scapula rotates. And what is the use of these forces? As you know, there are two types of forces, internal force and the external force. The internal force comes from the action of the muscle and the external force is either from the gravity or some person or thing. So a physiotherapist work involves the application of forces to oppose, equal or augment these two forces acting on a human body to get the desired results. If you like the video then give it a thumbs up, comment and share and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you